Today I'm going to show you how to customize the emails that get sent to your donors and to your admins every time you get a donation on your website. This video assumes you're using the Give WP plugin for your donation page. So uh, having said that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, one of the coolest things about GiveWP is that it automatically sends an email to your donors every time they make a donation on your website. It also sends an email to your admins to notify you that you got a donation. So not only does it send an email out to them, but you can customize what this email says, and this is how you do it. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and log into your WordPress website, and you're gonna go down to the GiveWP plugin area, which is this donations tab here, and we're right now going to go into settings. In the settings area, you're going to see there's tabs up here and there's one called emails. Go ahead and click on that. And this is where the emails are that get sent out to your donors and to your admins. It's important to note here that these are your global settings. So any changes here will affect all your donation pages on your website. Now there is a way to override this so that if you want a, a, a customized email for every single donation form or donation campaign you have, you can do that. But right now we're gonna do the global settings and then I'll show you how to override those if you have an individual page that you want to have a, a custom email sent out with. So let's go ahead and go back into WordPress. Great, so in the, uh, the donor email section, which is where we left off, um, you simply just have to click on the donation receipt or just click edit, either one will send you to it. Once you're there, you're gonna see that this notification should be enabled and that you can control the email subject, the email header and the email message. So what you wanna do here is go in and just change this to the subject line you want the email to say. So you might want to say, uh, thank you for supporting our animal shelter or your donation makes a difference. The email header, this is what appears at the top of the email inside the email. Um, so thank you for making this possible or you know whatever text you want to put in here. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky, but actually not too difficult. Down here is the actual body of the email that gets sent. And you can see here, it just has a simple thank you with some donor information. So anytime someone makes a donation, the amounts of money, their names, their addresses, their, all the, their email all gets captured in the database. And you can pull this information from the database and put it into your email. So if they made a $50 donation, you can thank them for that $50 donation. If they make a $100 donation, you can thank them for that $100 donation. And that's simply done by using these little bits of code here. So here's a code for their name, dear name, and that would fill in their name, right? And so the donor date, this fills in their date. So you can customize this to thank you for your donation for, and you can put the amount of the donation in here. And you find that simply by scrolling down here, you're gonna see here's the little bits of code that you would put in to that email in order to really customize this. So if you wanted to add the amount, like right here is the amount, you could actually copy this little bit of code, add this in there. Thank you for your gift of that amount and supporting our cause. Very easy to customize. I'm not gonna leave that in here since this is an actual live site, but so you go through there and you can just basically customize all the information that you want your donors to receive. Now, once you're done with this, you can go ahead and scroll down and make sure that you save the changes that you make. Great, let's go back to the donor emails. Now you can see there's other donation emails that get sent and you can simply scroll over the little question marks there and that will tell you what these are used for. If you feel like those are something that you'll be using or if they need customization, then go ahead and just click edit and you can customize them that way. For now though, we're just gonna skip over those. I'll allow you to do that on your own. Let's go ahead and check these admin emails. Go ahead and click on admins under emails. Good, so now here you can see the emails that get sent to your admins. These are basically who's gonna get notified of the new donation. To customize these, again, just simply click on the title of it or the edit button. Again, you wanna make sure this is enabled. And again, you have control over the subject line, the header, and the email message. So go ahead and customize your subject. Remember, this is going to you or someone that works in your organization. So you don't have to be too formal. It could simply just say, you have a new donation. And then when you get down to the email body, again, this is something you can keep simple, or you can try to include all the information, their address, their phone number, their email, the amount of money, if it's a recurring, you can capture all this information simply again by using the coding down here, a 
assuming that you're capturing this information in your donation form, then this is all going to be available for you to send in an email. Remember, all this information is stored in the donor database. So you don't necessarily have to send an email with every single detail about the donation and the donor to your admin or to whoever's receiving these emails. You can simply just let them know that a donation was made, the amount of money it was made for, and who made it. And then if they want more details, they can go into the donor database and they can export that as a CSV file so that they can have the, every donor's name, address, phone number, all that information. So no need to send this all in the email every single time someone makes a donation. My preferred method is just keep it simple. Now, once you have this email customized and worded the way you want it, you can scroll on down here and you can change who receives these emails or maybe more people want to receive them. So right now we have one person in there. Maybe um, your director wanted to know about it. So you can add other people to this email so more people receive notification of this donation. Once you're done, again, make sure you save your changes. Now it's time to simply test these emails to make sure that the edits that you made got saved and to make sure that the email looks okay when it arrives in your inbox. In this example, we're gonna be using a donor email receipt as our test. So simply go to emails, donor emails, donor receipt, and then simply click on send test email. This is automatically gonna send an email to the admin of your website so that they can see how the email looks when it arrives in their inbox. Now let's say you're not the admin and you still want to see how this is going to look. And if you send a test email, you're not the one getting that email. So let's go ahead and I'll show you another way to preview this email. In this case, we're going to do the donor email again, emails, donors. We're going to actually go into the edit area and we're going to scroll on down. You're going to see again, you have the option to test the email here. But in this case, we're going to choose preview. This opens up a new tab and gives you a preview of what this email is going to look like in an inbox. Okay, now I did mention that you can override these email settings and you'd want to do something like that if you had multiple donation forms on your page and you wanted a different email to be sent to the donors depending on which campaign they were donating to. So this is how you do that. This time we're going to go into our settings area and we're going to go to our forms, all forms area. In this case, we just have two forms on this site. And what we're going to do is we're just going to click on one of them. Go ahead and click edit. Once you're inside your forms area, you can go down to email notifications on the left hand side and click on that. You can then go through and customize the emails. In this case, I clicked email notifications. And this is basically the re customization of the template that gets sent out. You can change the logo, the from emails and the from names. To change how you get notified of a new donation, simply click on a new donation here on the left hand side and customize this. Now the new donation is what gets sent to your admins, so the people in your organization. And if you wanted to change the wording there, you'd simply again click customize and go through the form as we did earlier and update this with the verbiage that you wanted to use. And in this case, if you want to save your settings, you simply need to go over to update over here on the right. And you can do the same for your donor receipt. Simply go to donor receipt on the left hand side. Make sure you have customize selected and you can change the email subject header and message here as well. So you can customize this depending on what campaign they're donating to. And then once this is customized, you can just go ahead over here to update and make sure you update that. So real quick, I want to cover the other two tabs that are in your email settings area. So quickly, let's go back to emails. And this time when we're in our email area, we're going to go to email settings. Now this is your basic template for all the emails that get sent from the website. So in here, I typically keep this at default template because there's really nothing else to choose from. You can add the logo of your organization by simply clicking the add and upload button here, which puts you in your media library where you can select your logo or you can upload it. And you can control the from name that's going to show in the from field in someone's inbox and you can control the from email. So go ahead and customize those to your organization's name and email. And again, make sure you save your settings. And the last one we'll go over quickly here is the contact information. Go ahead and click on that. This is the physical address and email that shows up if someone decides to do an offline donation. It's not something that a lot of people in turn on on their donation forms, but if you did have that turned on when they went to do an offline donation, this information would show up in the form so they would know where to send their offline donation. So go ahead and update this with your address, phone number, and current email. And again, make sure you save that. 
Well, there you have it, folks. That is how you can customize the emails that get sent to your donors, as well as the emails that get sent to you and your admins and other people in your organization. Hey, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel below. Thanks for watching, folks. Until next time. Bye.